Greetings folks, this is going to be fun. This is the new ZOHD Dart XL Extreme Enhanced version. I have to say I'm a big fan of Zod because they actually listen to what people say, they are interactive in the community, they will answer, they will defend their products and they come up with uh, new versions and improvements of previous products too, which is what they've done with this one. The ZOHD Dart XL, uh, I really liked it, it was uh, a very, very stable smooth flying camera carrying and uh, FPV platform I found. It did have a few little issues, the nose was a bit weak so it was easy to break it off if you landed a bit hard uh, and uh, it sort of had a, a restricted speed window, you couldn't push it really hard without it wanting to pitch up, uh, it flew slow very very well, it was specifically designed to fly slow and medium pace not as a speedster. So Zod have gone back to the drawing board and come up with a few enhancements which include a new motor mount which is a good thing, the original motor mount wasn't good at all. Now includes a GPS bay specifically for the little uh, Beatian BN220 that comes with the co-pilot light flight control board. Uh, carbon fibre rods inside for strengthening and a tweaked airfoil too. Instead of having the uh, large amount of reflex like it did before, it's been smoothed out a bit. So it'll be really interesting to see how that has changed things. Uh, extended plywood floor for battery and flight control board. It has a spare ball link included. That's all I've got in my piece of paper. So let's open it up and actually have a look at these enhancements. Really nicely packaged, well packaged I have to say. The usual couple of pamphlets. This will be the fuselage. A lot of these Zod products are designed with specific uh, performance characteristics or specific build characteristics. They're all designed to be easily assembled in the field or, and packed down into a, a backpack and something like that. So these sort of design features will mean there are compromises I guess, but uh, they do a pretty good job of not really compromising much, I don't think. So there we go. So we've got carbon fibre reinforcement in the nose, which is excellent, and an extended uh, plywood battery bay, all giving more strength around this area here, which is where it tended to break in a decent crash. The wings plug in uh, without having to pass wires through. There's electrical connections there. And the motor mount no longer relies on uh, the hatch as part of the strength. There we've got a little plywood box. Uh, that's all nice and solid. Here you see there other upgrades to the fuselage and you can compare it to the screenshot of the original Dart XL. We get this extended uh, plywood mount for the flight control board that isn't in line with the thumb screws anymore. So you've got a bit more space there to fit the flight control board. But a good upgrade is this motor mount here, uh, properly supported with a, a timber box there. And there's a, um, a bit of thrust angle built in there and it's nice and solid too. We also have some carbon fibre strips here to reinforce this thin section. So that's not going to break so easily. Big solid spar here. Put that aside. Okay, we have the wings and uh, winglets or fins. And I'm just sort of having a look at the reflex area here. Uh, and that has been flattened out apparently. But anyway, we'll see how that actually translates to performance. We have little pockets here for putting receivers and uh, video transmitters out on the tips if you want to. Carbon reinforcement through the ailerons, ailerons. And the fins, that would be the wrong fin of course. Vertical fins, they have a little twist connection there. Just pop in like that. Twist and it's fitted meaning it can be broken down very easily. See the electrical connection will just make itself when we push it in. The 
So we have a couple of different uh, camera packing for the nose. I never tend to put cameras in the nose really. It's just not the way I like to do it. Here are some spare ball linkages for for the Elevons. Mine have the original uh, Clevis pin connectors, but you can swap them over to the ball linkages if you want. That's an interesting way of doing it. <laughs> There's the prop. That is a 9 by 45 prop. Stickers. There's my thumb screws. Oh, and the little um, flow organisers. Now you can choose to put these flow organisers in if you want to. Uh, I actually like the look of them and they actually do do something. As I showed in my previous uh, investigations with this, it actually does organise the, the flow so that it's more straight across the wing. So um, partly because of the unique idea, unique looks, uh, I'm going to fit them. Thumb screws go in, hold the wings in tight. They also provide a sort of a sticky, thick cover uh, for sort of blocking out this part of the nose if you're not going to put a, a GoPro or something like that in there. So I think I'm going to fit that one. And the motor is a Zero HD brand MK series uh, KV1300 2216. So let's glue these flow organisers in. I'm just going to use some all purpose adhesive. Oh, there we go, it is a sunny sky. <laughs> it's written on the other side. A few other nice design features to point out. We've already got the pre-installed reinforced leading edge there. Uh, we have provision for uh, connections out to a video transmitter or RC receiver. Plugs already supplied there, passing through that six pin plug. CG marks already marked here, little spots and uh, a bit of a nose skid here as well. Now Zod initially sent me a pre-production version which didn't have that uh, extended flight control board mount in there so they sent me another version just to show you exactly what it looks, looks like but I've already built up the pre-production version so I'll, I'll fly that one. So we're ready to fly now. Unfortunately though I broke the prop on the bench I, when I was setting it up. I, somehow powered it up while I was sitting there and it, it broke the prop. I do have this one which is an 8x6 which will be about the same thrust as the 9x4.5 I think so we'll try it out with this one anyway. 